This is a 1952 Olds 98 four-door sedan and there were 58,550 of these 98 four-door sedans built. The total production in 1952 for Oldsmobile was 228,452, almost uh, a quarter million. So they were a very healthy company at this point. Notice the side chrome here. And again, the rocket uh, idea along the side. We've got a two-tone combination here with yellow at the bottom and a green top. And the green is carried over to the uh, interior of the car. Notice that although this is a, a 98 series, the top of the line, there are no power windows. But it looks like it has just about everything else. You've got the handbrake there on the left. That's the Autronic Eye. The automatic headlight dimmer up there on the dash. A complete uh, gauge cluster there with the speedometer. And surprise, surprise, up there in that binnacle is a compass. How about that? With an AM radio. Lots of chrome work here on the dash. Lots of it. Nice carpeting. Very nice. And here you see that great Oldsmobile emblem. And look at what we have here. A Oldsmobile car watch, uh, watch that winds itself automatically as you turn the wheel. And of course there we have Hydromatic with it being in reverse. And the reverse, there is a parking paw there in reverse so that with the engine off, it... Uh, function as park does in today's cars. Very nice, very nice interior. They've added seat belts, which would not have been original equipment back in 52. And we've got a pull down armrest there in the back. Very, very luxurious here. And notice how the back seat is molded to go around the corner there. We've got the robe rail, and we've got a smoking combination there. You open up uh, the, the lid there, and you see the ashtray and the space for the cigarette lighter. So we close that door, and we go around back here. A very ample trunk. This is an auction car. But uh, there was, I could not, would not open the trunk lid, even if I could. We've got uh, the reverse lights behind, uh, below the regular tail light. We've got fender skirts. Nice wrap around back window. Take another look inside here. Plenty of leg, leg room in these cars. And check out the front again. No air conditioning in cars of this vintage. At least not for Oldsmobile. Packard was the first to offer air conditioning back around 1940. Notice that elaborate hood ornament. Talk about your rocket ships. Right there it is. All right, now we're going to open the hood, a hood so that we can see underneath. 303 cubic inch engine, rocket V8. And here you see the particulars that went through the auction and at 19,000, it didn't sell. But I would uh, say I don't know where you're going to find a more complete uh, 1952 Oldsmobile than this one is. And that box there, which we'll see in a minute, controls the Autronic Eye, that automatic headlight dimmer. That's the reservoir for the power steering fluid. There's the box. 
quite elaborate uh, mechanism for that Otronic Eye. And the Otronic Eye, from what I hear, was not all that great. They eventually uh, made changes in it so it was better able to be adjusted, but kind of created some problems in adjustment. An oil bath air cleaner. That's a windshield washer fluid reservoir. Looks like the car still had uh, vacuum windshield wipers. There's a, there you see Autronic Eye right there stamped on that uh, box.